Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a Caribbean or Jamaican mukbang. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I really like mukbangs. They've kind of just become a way to, rather than sitting down for a life update with a fake cup of tea, um, it's a way of feeling really connected, like I'm just conversing with you over food the way I would with friends in a restaurant. So I'm bringing you some West Indian Jamaican food. I've got rice and peas, some brown stew chicken, some mac and cheese, and because it's Jamaican, plantain, okay? Plantain around here, and some coleslaw around here, just because I love, there's something about Jamaican, West Indian, Caribbean, whatever we want to call this, there's something about the coleslaw in the Caribbean that's just different to any other coleslaw I've ever tasted, and it's a little bit sweeter, so I love it, it's an essential for me. I don't have jerk chicken, I wanted jerk chicken, but the restaurant that I ordered from, I have to start with this, was a little bit of a nightmare. Oh, I've also got a couple of chicken wings <laughs> to the side here, which will also explain what happened. So I ordered some food, I ordered this, because they didn't have jerk chicken. I also ordered two beef patties, one for me, one for Alex. And as soon as I place the order through Just Eat, the restaurant calls me up and is like, we don't have any patties left. It costs about a fiver for the two of them. I know, extortion, anyway. Um, and I was like, okay, could I maybe have some chicken wings instead or is that too much? And they were like, oh, I think it's too much. So I said, okay, could I just have a refund for the patties? We won't be able to refund you because you paid over card. I said, yes, you can. <laughs> because I've, I've done it before. And they were like, you have to contact Just Eat. So I said, okay, thank you, goodbye. Contacted Just Eat and they were like, yeah, they're gonna refund you for basically the cost of one of the patties. I was like, just to clarify, Jane, because it was Jane on the little chat thing. I was like, just to clarify, Jane, it was two beef patties. But in any case, she said that she would arrange it for me. And I said to Alex, I know what's gonna happen. I know something is gonna be missing from the order. I can just sense it. Lo and behold, they forgot my pineapple soda. I just knew it was gonna be something like that. Maybe a coleslaw would have been missing or the plantain. Something would have been missing. So the guy claims that he's going to give me a free drink and 20% off my next order. How I'm going to prove that, I don't know. I've got no like voucher or anything, but they underestimate the power of Z. I am so stubborn, so I know the next time I want Caribbean food, I'm going back to this place. I'm getting my 20% and I'm getting my free pineapple soda. But Alex being the absolute babe that he is, got me a can of ting from Tesco, so that will have to cope. And yes, yeah, so they did give me chicken wings. So I feel like they're not going to refund me for the beef patties because they're gonna say that they gave me literally three of the tiniest fried chicken wings. I think they're gonna claim that that's instead of my beef patties. But in any case, I'm still getting my 20% of free drink. So that just preludes my feelings right now and why I'm doing a mukbang. I hate my hair. Guys, I absolutely hate my hair. Let me just dish up as I'm talking to you. And it's not even a case of like, oh, I'm just a bit bored. Oh, I should have done this way. It's not even a case of me being just like bored. I am genuinely really disappointed with it, unhappy with it, and I don't, I kind of know what to do. I think I know what to do. But you know what? At the moment, you, we've been seeing a lot of people in the natural hair community relaxing their hair, they're either relaxing their hair or, or they're on their second big chop. I hadn't even gained enough length to be on my second big chop. Um, and relaxing my hair just isn't something that I want to do. I know that I, I, I hate my hair but I don't hate it enough to go back to the creamy crack and I will say that you know few people face a bit of backlash for relaxing their natural hair I mean maybe because they weren't practicing what they possibly were preaching I don't know but to be honest 
I feel like we've come such a long way. Still have far to go, 100%, but I do think we have come quite a long way compared to like my generation, older generations, maybe a few in between here and there. Um, oh, also I'm in my pajamas because when I'm done with this dinner, this day is completely over. Thank God. So I'm straight in my pajamas. Whereas my generation, older generations, and maybe a few below me as well, might have relaxed their hair out of this idea of wanting to assimilate, thinking that straighter hair was more beautiful, you know, in proximity to European beauty standards, having lack of representation, having like the only black people, people of colour in the media, models, etc., having long straight hair, you kind of relaxed your hair out of that need. Whereas now I feel like people relaxing their hair, it's more just a style choice. And maybe, yeah, a few people just can't be bothered to do their hair. But I don't begrudge anyone relaxing their hair now because I just think it's a choice. I don't think as much there are some elements of it, but I don't think it's as much a case of, oh, I'm relaxing my hair because I dislike myself or what my hair represents in terms of identity. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think, I don't want to relax my hair. So, you know, there, there, there are silver linings and all that, but I'm really, really disappointed with it. I'm so, so upset with it. And it's coming from, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I damaged my hair back in May. I stupidly used a keratin spray and excessive, excessive amounts of constant high heat. Like I straightened and heat tonged my hair um, about three times within five days. And so how, how I could expect there to not be damage, I don't know. And so now I'm dealing with, oh, if this wants to break apart, that would be great. Now I'm dealing with like five different textures in my head. It's not the same as when I was transitioning where I felt like there was an end to it, an end goal. Like I just had the straight piece and my natural hair. I now have like straight pieces, wavy pieces, curly pieces. And then I can't even sometimes tell which parts are even healthy anymore. Um, I will say that had I cut off my hair when I first noticed the damage, I would have lost way more hair than if I was to say big chop it now. Because if you go back to my, I've damaged my hair video, I'll leave it somewhere around. Um, my hair looks really lank and doesn't seem to have any volume. It was very, very damaged in the early stages. But through a lot of protein reconstructors, deep conditioning, and of course I have been regularly dusting my ends to get rid, rid of some of it, the volume has come back significantly and a lot of it has repaired. So I feel like, yes, you can repair some parts of damage, but only so far. So I'm now left with what is completely permanent, unchangeable, dead pieces, dead pieces of hair. And I am in this kind of limbo of do I big chop or do I con continue with my first plan of transitioning? And I'm selfish. I don't want to big chop. I don't want a big chop because I wanted long hair. And maybe that's the funk that I'm in. Maybe it's, maybe that's the issue that I'm having is I, have always been health over length, health health over length. But once you pass shoulder length, there's something that makes you go, ooh, like I can do this. I can get to bra strap length, waist length, or wherever the heck it is you want to go, you know? So there is this feeling of me like I, it's longish, but it's just not long enough. I'm at armpit length. Um, and I wanted to have long hair. That's why I started the growth challenge and that's why I straightened my hair. I wanted to see how long it was. So I feel like poo because of the damage, but also my hair is shedding like you wouldn't believe. It's always kind of done that. It's something that I hadn't wanted to really admit because even before I damaged it, 
I lose a lot of hair through washing and detangling. Like, it did improve when I, A, when I was taking like multivitamins, which I need to start doing again. Not the sugar bear hair stuff, just regular vitamins. Um, and also the tea rinses did help, but obviously I don't want to be excessive in the use of the tea. But I lose a lot of hair way more I think than is average and way more than I think I'm supposed to because I lose it detangling I lose it then through the wash process and then I lose more when I come out of the shower and I'm styling my hair like braising it how I've done here I'm surprised I have any left on my head that's how much I lose and yes some of it now might be um attributed to my damage but I wonder if some of it is also in relation to terminal length. Maybe I need to face some facts here. Maybe my hair is just not meant to grow long. Do you see all these like, like things that I'm just battling with in my head? Maybe my hair's not meant to be long or as long as I want it to be. For me, bra strap length is long hair. At the moment, I feel like I've just got mid-length hair at armpit length hair. Um, I'm, not, I'm not aiming for waist length or any of that. That was never in my eyesight, but I thought I could make it to BSL and that would be long for me and I would be really happy with that. Um, but I'm wondering if maybe that terminal length is a thing and maybe my terminal length is armpit length because I really have plateaued here in the last year or so and that would also explain the shedding because maybe it's just shedding because it's done growing there's no more else there's nowhere else it can go so it's just dropping out because it's proper sheds it's not broken pieces which i'm surprised um it's full-on sheds with the bulb and i'm like whoa <laughs> I know for sure I need to get back on my vitamins and I wanted remember to do that video on the vitamin that helps your hair grow and I still do but I had actually stopped taking it so I'm going to start that up again and I really do hope that that helps um, with the shedding and just general health of my hair I've also been exercising that's why I know traditional mukbangs are like masses of food but I'm trying to watch my figure so I've been exercising literally every day. Every day, some form of exercise to keep me active, especially because I work an office job where I'm sitting down all day. So I'm hoping all of this will help improve my hair. And yeah, there's a few things that I feel like are putting me on the right track, but I know that as well as being stubborn, I'm incredibly impatient. And I'm just like, I'm not seeing the results. I'm not seeing this. Um, so therefore my hair's just not gonna grow and is not good and blah, blah, blah. And I just feel a little bit lost, to be honest with the whole thing. I just feel a bit lost. The food is nice, I'm pleased with that. And that's why I keep going back to this place because you know what? It's hard out here where I live to get Caribbean food. There's only two places. This place, which is the closest to me, Another place, which is okay, I like their food, but it's further away. And then after that, the closest one is probably One Stop in Halsden. Shout out One Stop in Halsden, I love their food. And then the only one, as in within proximity to me, but even One Stop is about an hour and a half away from me. They're the only ones that do fritters. Nowhere else does fritters. What I would do for a salt fish fritter. But then again, I need to learn to cook myself. Like, in this limbo as well with, you know, how much should I wash my hair? Maybe I'm washing my hair too much. But with the exercise, it's like I don't want to have gross hair because I do work out to sweat. So I don't want to have gross hair. But maybe this whole, because I wash about once a week. There was a point for a few weeks, maybe a month, I was washing my hair every three days. Did I think I had type 3 hair or something? Don't do that. But I'm washing my hair about 5 to 7 days now. And I still think that's maybe too frequent. Should I wash it every 2 weeks? How will my hair cope? 
protective styles and never really protective. You know, I do my hair in twists, like, and the edges break off so easy and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Listen, this is why I rarely do hair videos because I, ca I can't help you. I can only help you just about, like just about. I'm not good at braiding. I'm not very good at styling. So what else can I really do as apart from regimen videos? But it's like I've forgotten what I used to do because when I first went natural, my hair grew very quickly and maintained all of its length in the first year, two years. But after that, I really, really struggled. But it did grow, it definitely did. When I look at my old videos, my hair has grown a lot. But as I say, in this past year, it's just completely plateaued and I feel like it's because I just can't retain anything. And that's even before damaging my hair earlier in May. I'm gonna just open this thing. Also to do with my acting, if you didn't know, I've always wanted to be an actor. It's what I studied, you know, I studied drama and theatre arts at uni. I then did an acting course. I did a few short films and things. Then I gave it up. <laughs> and now I've been fortunate enough to be in a position where I can go back to it. So I've gone back to it to really pursue it this time. And this time, you know, when I was first starting out in my acting career, so to speak, I had relaxed hair. I only just recently got new headshots done in June. And there's something as well about me and this acting, I'm feeling so conflicted, I'm feeling so lost, I'm feeling like I'm not really, oh, this sounds so stupid to say, but I feel like I'm like not special. Like I feel like, who the hell am I? Like, who's gonna even want me to, I had a reading for an agency, they said no. It's like an audition for an agency and the agents are what get you the jobs. You can do it on your own, but it's really, really hard. Um, you need people that have those connections already and they said no they were really you know polite about it gave me great feedback and it was more like a see you next time than a flat out no which I really really appreciated but at the same time I can't help but look at myself and be like what am I missing like even my headshots because they were taken in June so my hair was only just starting to recover from the damage so my headshots, I'll put one up. My hair looks a little bit curlier. Oh, like this just sounds so stupid, but I just feel like even the definition of Afro hair is so difficult. I'm applying for like acting roles where they specifically, they want like girls with Afro hair and I'm submitting myself and I'm just like, do they even realize that my hair is Afro, but like I'm wearing a twist out and my hair's damaged so it looks curly and I just, I don't know what to do. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that is just how I currently feel. Like I feel like I don't, I just don't know. I feel like maybe that's what it is, people. I feel like I'm losing my identity. I think that's what it is. Because when I, when I cut my hair, there was a part of me that really felt like I was embracing who I was and starting to become myself. And because I fudged it up for myself, I feel like I don't even know who the hell I am anymore, which is just stupid. Indy Iree said, I am not my hair. It didn't matter if you wore a relaxer or a jerry curl or natural hair because it's about you and not your hair. And I've put too much pressure on myself and too much focus into my hair. And now I don't know what to do. This is good. That is bloody good. That's the reason why I'm having to exercise though because fizzy drinks, oh, they just hit a spot for me, you know? So, I hate my hair. <laughs> I hate my hair, but I can't just end this video saying I hate my hair and, and just give up like that because that is how I am. We've come to learn I'm stubborn. I'm impatient, but I also have I'm also insecure as hell. Like I just don't trust myself enough to do things because I'm so scared of failing. And I'm not gonna end this video by just saying I hate my hair, I give up, like I don't wanna do that. Maybe when I get to December, I'll do a really nice hefty mini chop, we'll call it a mini chop. I do want to retain some of my length. And do you know what? I really, really want to go to a salon. I haven't been to a hairdresser in five years to do my hair. 
I've been to a stylist to braid my hair, as in literally just braid it, but to have somebody else wash, condition, assess and trim my hair, I think is what I really, really need. I think that might be my first step. Then really formulate a solid regimen and be patient and stick to it. I hate my hair, but I don't hate it enough to give up on it just yet. It looks like I haven't eaten anything. I promise you I've eaten some. I just don't like the idea of like chewing like on camera, like, you know? If you have any tips or tricks on damaged hair, what you did for it, I'm all ears. I genuinely am. Or generally, if you are just feeling the same as me, please comment down below because I need to feel like I'm not alone on this. And the funny thing is I'm actually wearing it out more because you'd think I'd hide it away because I've got wigs and stuff, but actually I've just been wearing it out more and I think it's because I keep trying things. I want it to be right. I want it to do what I want it to do and I want to wake up and it's amazing. It's been about half an hour now of chatting. I need to actually properly eat my food. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next positive video. We might have a few more chatty videos as I'm developing what I need to do. So I hope you'll stick around. Um, I make videos three times a week. So if you've made it to the end of this video and you're new, please do subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Look how massive my hands look. Bye. <laughs>